haul video. I was sitting here getting ready for work and I thought about it. I haven't done a haul for you guys in a long time. So I really wanted to show you guys a few things that I've bought. The first thing that I got was I got the Wet n Wild Limited Edition um, Trio Palettes. I only got four of them. Um, the last one that I got... Um, the other two that I didn't get, one of the color, one of them, it was too similar to, I think it was the red, black, and white one or something like that. Those were just too similar to other previous trio palettes that, um, that when Wild had put out. And then the other one, those colors were just so neutral. It was like, whatever. So I really got, I only got the ones that kind of stood out to me. And the ones that I picked out were a regular at the factory. I heard good things and bad things about these palettes. Some people said that they weren't as pigmented they were, and some people were saying that they just weren't worth it. But as usual, Wet n Wild never seems to fail me because I took, I'm very pleased with the pigmentation at all. So I don't know, maybe the people that were saying that these weren't pigmented, maybe they just caught a bad batch. I don't know, but these are very pigmented. Those are just small swatches. Look at that blue. That's outstanding. Um, these are just like small swatches of um, just one palette. Little soft swatches. And then when you look at the pigmentation that you got from just those swatches, you can imagine how they look with a um, base. So this is a regular at the factory. I haven't done any looks with these. Um, I am wearing... I, I'm seeing triplets. So I do plan on doing some tutorials. And I use this blue with a base, with the white base, and I you and I um blended it out in the crease with this green. And then you can barely see it, but I put this pink in my inner tear duct. So it's just a you know bold blue look. I felt like wearing some blue. You guys know I love blue eyeshadow and pink lips. So this is I'm seeing triplets. Aren't up. And I got this one because of this purple and that yellow. These are really actually colors that I really have. I'm sure I have dupes of all of these. But um, I just like the combination of the colors. That's why I got these four. Because I like the color combos. So this is your 15 minutes earned up. Oh, I want to show you guys the pigmentation on this blue and this green. So, and this is the color. So, these are pigmented. Wet and Wild never fails me with their eyeshadows. And the last one I got is to Muse and Caruse. So, this is like a neutral color. But because of that blue, I really, I'm sure that I have this in another trio um, palette. But, um, I like the combination because it's like a neutral color. But then it's, so that's why I got that, that one. So, these are the four that stood out to me. Um, so far, I'm really liking them. Like I said, this is my first time using them with this look, which is I'm seeing triplets. So, I'm, I'm pleased so far. I was very impressed with the pigmentation. Next thing that I purchased, and, and I got some of the Maybelline um, Fall Collection, Limited Edition Fall Collection. I only got two colors. I got the Lavender Voltage and Violet Intrigue. If possible, I'll insert some pictures of me wearing um, Lavender Voltage, if I have any. I think I took pictures, but this is Lavender Intrigue, or this is Violet Intrigue. This is the one that they're saying is close to, some people are saying that this one is close to heroin, and then some of, one, some of them are saying that Lavender Voltage is close to heroin. Sorry, I don't have um, heroin to compare it to, but... Um, Picture wise, for my skin tone, I think that lavender voltage is closer to heroin. But regardless to what, I love the purple. I love it, love it, love it. And you'll see why I really love it. But yeah. So this is um, Violet Intrigue. I really like this color. For those of you who follow my channel, know I love as you can see. <laughs> so that's lavender. That's Violet Intrigue. Violet Intrigue. It's 995. So then the next one I got the pink that in that fall collection just I don't like it's hard to find so I basically cleaned up on this color. I actually bought the lavender voltage. That's what this looks like. And I really just bought this and now that shows you how much I wear it. Originally I bought one of each, the violet intrigue and one lavender voltage. That's lavender voltage and violet intrigue. And I like this color so much. I went back and bought 
two more of the lavender vultures. I did have to go to another store to get these two, but um because because the display only has two of each color, which I think is a mess, but um I I found the two colors. So I'm glad that I have backups of because this is the first one I bought and look how low it is. So I'm thinking cuz this has been my go-to color, like I'll do a natural lip and then I mean a latch a natural um, eye like just a all bronzed out eyeshadow and then just throw this on so that's what I've been doing so that's why I haven't been doing any tutorials because that has been my makeup every day like this has been my everyday lip and just all toned out and then boom purple lips so I'm really loving this and like I said if I have any pictures that I can insert um, in this um, video I will but I don't think I took any pictures wearing this lip but if I do I will so that's lavender voltage I love this color I think this is the closest to here when I'm going to get it. So, I love it. Regardless of what, I love it. Because I love it. But, yes, I have three of these. Yeah. Haulage. So, then, the last thing that I picked up, um, I really haven't been buying anything. Because I'm kind of going on, like, a personal no-buy. Because I've found myself buying way too much makeup. So, I only... I've only been picking up things like if it's really like a really really good deal like a clearance or if it was something that I just could not live without which was these purples because they were limited edition of course but um, I also picked up this Iman time control because um, I thought, like I talked about in my last video um, Iman cosmetics went on clearance at my local target and I picked this up it's a undercover agent oil control primer it does not work and it broke me out like hell. So, I would not even, I'm not even going to go any further with this. The regular price on this, I think it's like $13 or $14. I'm so glad that I did not pay this. I only paid $4 for it because of the clearance. But I'm very upset. I'm very upset about Diva. Diva, give me that. Give me that. What you doing? Diva is being a bad girl, you guys. She got a cotton ball and she is tearing it up. Diva! No, no! Me and her talk. But anyway, um, yeah, so I don't like this. I don't know if I think... Maybe it works for somebody else. If somebody who's tried this, let me know. Comment down below. But this broke me out like hell, so I can't even put this on my face anymore. So, what else? What's the four bucks? So, anyway, that's all the things that I have right now. Because, like I said, I have a bit. Yeah. So, what's on my face is Revlon Color Stay 24 Hour in Mahogany. I've been wearing this every day. This is definitely going to be in my um, September faves at the end of the month. Because I've been wearing this every day. I have this on my face right now. To set it, I've been wearing my Midnight um, Ebony Translucent Face Powder. Uh, my under eye concealer, of course, I got my girl Toast, my LA Curl Concealer in Toast. And I have the Midnight Topaz Translucent Face Powder to set under eye. My eyebrow highlight is Black Opal Heavenly Honey, Black Opal Concealer and Heavenly Honey. And to do my eyebrows, instead of using my Ruby Kisses Gel Eyeliner that I usually use, I've been using this e.l.f. Brow Treat in Tame this darker side here so that's what I did my brows with and then I cleaned it up with my matte concealer around of course and then like I stated before on my eyes I have this um, I'm seeing triplets palette and my blush what blush where's my blush and the blush that I have is a black radiance blush spice ginger and it looks like this I have one and then on my lips I'm wearing a NYX Butter Gloss, and this one is Tiramisu, and it looks like this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Oh, let me say, get Diva so you can say hi. Come here. Come here. Now that she's torn up a cotton ball all over my, all over my pink carpet, now you gotta say hi to everybody. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, girl. Say hi. She's getting big, you guys. No, oh, don't you want mommy. Don't do on mommy. She's teasing, so she's trying to chew on everything. But say hi, Diva. Say hi. Say hi. She don't want to say hi. She want to play. I don't want to play right now. I don't want to play. <laughs>